You have a Mogurt, but how do you use it in Premiere? In the last couple videos, we've been working our way towards exporting a Mogurt. Now, if you haven't watched the drop-down tutorial or the Essential Graphics 101 tutorials, check out the links in the description below so that you can follow along more easily. In this video, I'm gonna assume that you have a Mogurt in hand and you're ready to hop into Premiere and import it and edit it and understand how that workflow works to make your life as easy as possible. So let's hop into Premiere. Within Premiere, I am in the editing workspace here. And what I need to do is go up to Window and down here to Essential Graphics. And once I click that, you're gonna see Essential Graphics populate over here with the Lumetri panel and the Essential Sound. And the way that you import a Mogurt is by going down to this lower right-hand corner and clicking on this, what looks like a screen and a plus button. And it's gonna open up and you can navigate to where your Mogurt lives. So I found my Mogurt and I'm gonna hit open. And you're gonna see it kind of refresh here. So those keywords that we had entered within After Effects kind of become important here because it doesn't automatically populate here for you. So let's type in WNBA and our graphic pops up here. What I usually like to do is click on this star to set it as a favorite. That way when I'm, I'm back in here and I have all these different assets, so many, so many different assets, I can click on the star and have it come right up for me. So before I can drop this into a sequence, I need to create a sequence. I'm just gonna make a generic one. And now I can click and drag this onto the timeline. And I'm just gonna say change sequence settings because all I really want is this graphic. All right, so it's in there, it's working just great. So that's great that we have this. And that was on browse. And there's two different options up here. One's browse, one's edit. Uh, so as you can imagine, you're searching for your templates in browse. And when you when you find one, it's on the timeline. When you're ready to edit it, make sure it's highlighted here and click edit. And you see the same layout that we had uh, within After Effects. So I can go ahead and change the player, get to a proper screen here. So I can switch it to Asia, Sue. Yeah, it's all working just the same. Now let's go back to Asia. And within stats, let's go to the end here in stats. Just before that. And all you gotta do is just click in here, change these numbers, and you can do that all the way down. That's all gonna work. And you can leave this untwirled if you want. Um, just depends on how you want to Work, work within this. Um, and then primary colors, we can adjust the colors on the fly here within Premiere as well. We give it a little bit more of a Las Vegas Aces look here. Yeah, well, good. All right, so I'm gonna undo all of that to get it back to normal and then Let's say we wanted to use this Mogurt in multiple places, right? Which happens quite often. So if you hold Alt or Option and click and drag, you have another instance of this graphic, but we can change the player and change everything about it within the same timeline. And it's still gonna, it's still gonna hold. So you could essentially lay out all the different players that you have and kind of preset as much of this as you as you can so that when you want to render a specific player you can just go set your in and out on a player update the stats the color you could preset if you have a team already and then just change your stats quickly and render and you're off and running